This video explains how to create a data frame from another data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to six of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right and we can print our data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data frame containing five rows and the five columns x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. Now let's assume that we want to create another data frame based on this data frame, which contains only some of the columns of our input data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line nine. And in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our input data frame. And then I'm using square brackets to subset our data frame. And within these square brackets, I'm specifying a vector which contains the column names of the columns that I want to keep in our data frame subset. So in this case, I want to keep the columns with the column names x1, x2 and x5. And then I'm also storing the output of this in a new data frame object that I'm calling data new one. So after running line nine of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right. And we can also print our new data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that our new data frame still contains five rows. However, this time our new data frame contains only the columns x1, x2 and x5 and the columns x3 and x4 have been removed. Similar to that, we can also subset our data frame based on the index positions of the different columns, as you can see in line 12 of the code. So once again, I'm specifying the name of our data frame and I'm using square brackets to subset our data frame. However, this time I'm specifying the index positions of the columns that I want to keep. So in this case, I want to keep the second, the third and the fourth columns of our data frame. So after running line 12 of the code, another data frame called data new two is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame subset to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 13 of the code. And then you can see that we have created another data frame based on our input data frame, which contains the columns x2, x3 and x4. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.